What's up YouTube, Snatchpedo here with Tactic of the Day number 18. This game was between Alakine and Freeman in 1925. It is white to move in this position, and if you'd like to solve it yourself, make sure you pause the video to give yourself adequate time. And if you'd like to play the moves on a board, make sure you check out the link in the description which will take you to a game on Lee Chess where this position is, so you can move the pieces and have a play around. If you need more time, make sure you pause your video again. Now, the first move that is the move to play in, that I'm sure everybody at least considered, was exploiting this back rank with rook to e8 check. Now, it looks very close to checkmate, except for this one resource of knight f8 that black has. Now, the next step is we would love to checkmate either on g7 or maybe sacrifice our rook for the knight and put a queen on d8, but you'll notice that this queen is in the way, right? If we could deflect this queen somewhere, I don't know, this square, this square, somewhere that we can put our queen here for checkmate, not that square. <laughs> if we could put our queen here for checkmate, that would be great. But right now the queen is in the way, so what we have to do is deflect this queen from defending this critical square. So we play knight h6. Now the king can't go to h8 because this is checkmate. And also at this point the pawn can't take our knight because we have this pin on the g-file. So the only move to stop this check is to take the knight with the queen, and we have succeeded in removing the queen's defense of d8. Now, it's very important not to go to d8 straight away with the queen forming this battery and threatening checkmate, because not only, at the very least, can black play g6, but better, the queen can play queen, g, uh, queen c1 check, and that's mating for black. So we have to be very careful as white that we don't let uh, black deliver checkmate on us. So we have to find a much more forcing continuation. And I alluded to what that continuation was earlier, and I hope you can find it. Rook takes f8 check. King obviously has to take the rook. There's no going to h1, h8, otherwise the rook will just take our king. So king must take on f8, and then we have queen d8. Only after the rook has been sacrificed, because the queen covers these two squares, and the pawns are blockading the king from escaping anywhere else. And this is a cute little variation of a back rank checkmate. So I hope you guys liked that one. Make sure you like the video if you liked the video. Share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next chess tactic of the day. Stay classy. Peace.